Welcome to Joy Fernandez Tutorials. This is your teacher Joy, a master teacher too, and a tutor for two decades now. This channel is offering English and math lessons, spelling, grammar, algebra, letter review, children's stories, and many more. Soon, I'll be opening the join button where I can assist you in your homework and also do some live sessions with you. So stay tuned for that one. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Today, we're going to talk about subtraction of integers. In here, either addition or subtraction is involved. So the first thing that I'm going to teach you is how to subtract unlike signs. Let's do it step by step. Negative 14 minus positive 56. Step 1, copy the minuend. So negative 14 is the minuend. Let's copy. Subtraction becomes addition. Minus becomes plus. Step 3, turn this or turn the subtrahend into its opposite sign. Meaning, if it's a positive number, turn it into its negative form. Or if it's a negative number, change it into its positive form. So because this is a positive number, it becomes negative 56. And then follow the rule in addition of integers. So if you want to go back to the topic, just visit the link above. Okay, so because they are both negative numbers, let's add. And then, follow the common sign, which is negative. So this is now negative 70. Another example. First step, copy the minuend. Let's copy positive 37. Next, minus becomes plus. Plus. Next, turn this into its opposite sign. Negative becomes positive. Then, follow the rule in adding integers. So, that's now positive 93. Another example, negative 81 minus positive 19. Step 1, copy the minuend. Step 2, turn this into plus. Step 3, change the subtrahend into its opposite sign. Then, follow the rule in addition of integers. The sign is negative. So, this is now negative 100. This time, I'm going to teach you how to subtract integers with the same signs. Let's do the long cut first and then the short cut. Negative 18 minus negative 19. Long cut is half the minuend. This becomes plus. And then turn this into its opposite sign, which is positive 19. Follow the rule in addition of integers if they don't have the same size. Subtract and then follow the sign of the bigger number in its absolute value. 19 minus 18 is 1. Because this is larger, let's copy the sign. Positive 5. In here, negative 26, let's copy. Minus becomes plus. And then, turn this into its opposite sign. Follow the rule. Let's subtract and follow the sign of the bigger number in its absolute value. 6 minus 5 is 1. And then 1. So, negative. 11. Now, let's go to shortcut. If we are subtracting integers with the same sign, just subtract. 90 minus 18 is 1. And then, if the absolute value of the minimum, if we say absolute value, this is now the positive value of that number. If the absolute value of the minimum is less than its subtrahend, then the sign is positive. Now we go to this one to subtract. If the absolute value of the minuend is greater than the absolute value of the subtrahend, the sign should be negative. So this is now negative 11. Are they the same? How about if they are both positive numbers? So, just subtract. 
The absolute value of the minuen is less than the absolute value of the sutra hen, the sign should be negative. Take note of that. Next, again, let's subtract. It's eight. If the absolute value of the minuen is greater than its sutra hen, the sign should be positive. Positive But if you think that you're more comfortable with um, the long cut, then do the long cut. If you're more comfortable with the short cut, then do the short cut. Are you now ready for the quiz? So like the previous videos, Pause the video and then come back later for the solutions. Now let's answer. Number one, negative 15 minus positive 27. Follow the middle wind. This becomes plus. This is turned into its opposite sign. Follow the rule in addition of integers. They are both negative numbers, so let's just add. And then copy. This is now negative 42. Number 2. Positive 36 minus negative 17. Copy the minuend. This becomes plus. And then turn it into its opposite number. Follow the rule in addition of integers. Let's add. Positive 53. Now let's go to number three. Let's do the shortcut. Just subtract. And then, if the absolute value of the minuend is less than the absolute value of the subtrahend, the answer should be positive. Next, okay, here are both positive numbers. Just subtract 14. The minuend is less than its subtrahend. Should be negative. Do not be confused with the shortcut. Okay? Again, if you don't like or if you're not comfortable with the shortcut, please do the long cut. Number five, they are both positive numbers, so let's just subtract. Okay, and then positive. Positive 43. And the last one, negative 46 minus positive 35. Copy. Let's go back, back, this becomes back, plus. Back, 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 back. This becomes negative 35. And then follow the rule in addition of integers. Negative 81. How many did you get? I hope that you got high in the test. So that's it for now. I hope to see you in my next videos. Goodbye, God bless, and keep safe.